What is your message uh, to the Chancellor over that proposal? Oh, good morning. Um, well, it's completely uh, nonsensical. We're putting at risk £17.8 billion pounds worth of spend from high spending luxury international consumers. Uh, it's costing the revenue £500 million pounds in uh, VAT refunds just at a time when the retail sector is frankly on its knees. It's uh, having to rebuild slowly as a result of COVID-19. So, you know, the idea of, of introducing this uh, change to, to taxation at, at this time is just nonsensical. And it's going to cost thousands and thousands of directly employed retail people. And of course, all the associated producers and, and, and manufacturers and communities across the United Kingdom and, and indeed across the world who supply goods to a very important luxury sector here in the United Kingdom. Unpack that figure for us a little bit more, if you can. Seventeen point eight uh, billion pounds. Yeah, I mean the the UK is a real uh, destination for uh, for 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 high spending uh, customers from outside of the EU, and you know this issue is, I think, a, a political issue rather than an economic issue because it's it's as Britain leaves uh, Brexit uh, leaves uh, as Brexit happens and Britain leaves the United Kingdom then um, we're unable to, uh, we either have to offer the same benefit to the rest of the world to European citizens or not at all. And, uh, and, and frankly, you know, the evidence is quite clear that, uh, that, that, that high spending non-EU customers, their habits really are, are driven by the fact that there is an incentivization to come and buy luxury goods here in the United Kingdom. Uh, just after the Brexit vote, we saw the devaluation of the pound by somewhere between 15 and 20 percent. And, you know, in that immediate moment, we saw sales of luxury goods in the UK increase by around 46 to 50 percent of sales growth because high spending international visitors that come to the UK are as price sensitive as anyone else. People are looking for another reason to come and, and, and uh, you know, partake in a very important uh, aspect. Aspect of, of international travel. We can't simply allow, uh, allow these uh, uh, or assume that these international visitors are going to simply come to visit Buckingham Palace um, uh, or, or, or uh, any of the other tourist attractions across the UK. So it's, it's a big number. Uh, it's a relatively small, in my opinion, uh, revenue taxation issue. Uh, and quite frankly, we need to, if, any, if anything, my, my message to the Chancellor is that we ought to be extending the scheme to the rest of the EU as we leave uh, Europe formally at, uh, on December the 31st.